Somebody else commented on a different video talking about how Polarium is really good at slapping us in the face and then giving us a gift right after. We expect that facing all the four heads at once with the buffs will be a rare occasion. <laughs> Polarium, literally my first, my first run post update happens every single run. And what he's talking about is the Serpent's Will for any of you guys who um, just don't know for one reason or another. The Serpent's Will now is going to have 100% damage mitigation. So the Serpent's Will is a buff that the Hydra Heads get whenever they pop up. And as soon as they pop up for one turn, they will have this buff. You can't do anything to them. I mean, you can place debuffs, but you're not going to be able to do any damage to them. So no more killing ahead as soon as it pops out, right? Now they said, and to my understanding, I thought there was, that there was only going to be one head that's going to have 100% damage mitigation if multiple heads are out. This head was the one that came out first, and then all three other heads came out. Only this head would have 100% damage mitigation and these would um, still have like only 75%. I don't know, but uh, again, I don't know a lot of things. Sometimes things go over my head. Damage immunity is BS. I barely do Hydra. Don't want to do it at all, right? The worst change that helps top nukers and hurts average players. And yeah, I'm like for me, and I got like mixed reviews on, on my last video that I did doing Nightmare Hydra. Um, top nukers so i i have some top nukers enemy max hp nukers and now do 2x damage so my hydra score for nightmare my personal best broke doing 100 mil plus more than what i was doing pre-nerf hurts average players seems to be about right a lot of people were talking about how they don't even do or they're only doing a fraction of what they used to do i ran uh, or not ran i ran trunda i ran my trenda team and it was easily doing a billion plus before. Now it barely even touches 200 million. So that's a huge chunk. So yeah, they definitely fucked Trunda. Your auto teams won't work the same. They always target the Serpent's Will head for some reason, unless it's an AOE. And Polarium actually just posted this not too long ago, talking about the comments about the recent changes of the Hydra mechanics. Greetings, Raiders. Thank you all for providing us with your thoughts and extensive feedback about your experience with what has recently changed in the mechanics of Hydra Boss. In appreciation of your feedback and active involvement into the matters of designing a better balance, we've sent you a gift today. Now that the changes have been activated and you've started testing them on your own, we'd like to address the most pressing concerns that remain. The primary purpose of the introduced rebalance was to bring players on equal terms in the long run when competing in Hydra Clash. We wanted to achieve that by reducing the dominance of particular overpowered teams via systematic and... You know what, I'm not even going to get into it because I'm pretty sure I'm going to read somebody's comment and they're going to explain it for me. And structural changes that would prevent the arrival of new possible imbalanced mechanics, imbalanced tactics in the future, and would put all players on equal footing. Clearly, old pre old pre-rebalance teams and tactics might not appear as efficient in the new state of things if compared to the previous selves. However, many more players now can forward more diverse teams that are able to compete more blah 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 blah. Speaking of Trenda, we still want her to remain good and a valuable asset, maybe one of the best, not overpowered though. However, if she remains too strong against Hydra even after the rebalance, we're ready to consider nuking her even further. If Trenda is still too powerful, we're gonna fuck her up even more. We admit that some players managed to fight Hydra under the old pre-balance rules. Yeah, if you didn't know this before the update, for example, if you just stayed logged in and you ran your keys before the update went into a full effect, then you could keep those scores. But I mean, it's only, it's only, like they just said it right here. It's only gonna happen this time and this time only. Due to some bugs in AI behavior, Champion might perform now rather poorly against Hydra on auto, like not targeting exposed necks or a head that digests the Champion by default. So we plan to fix those in the future updates. So that's good, it's getting fixed. Many players have put forward good suggestions as to further tweaks of AI. When fighting Hydra, that will take into consideration. Thank you all for your constructive comments. Rebalances are necessary. And and yeah, I, I totally agree with this. Rebalances are a necessary part of a game, especially one as complicated as Raid. Some And there's Trunda right here, look at that. There's our girl. Sometimes bosses might become a bit more and sometimes less challenging. Uh, bah, 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 but the changes were introduced and directed at making battles more consistent. It's going to take a few more Hydra resets for them to 
reevaluate things and if it doesn't reach the desired balance for the large swaths of players in the long term they're going to buff hydra or uh, nerf our champions even further basically the broken ai is really the cherry on top of the shit cake they said they changed the auto ai to target the heads that have devoured champions guess what my geomancer geomancer's a3 dude like it just sucked pre-nerf and i guess post-nerf too continues to use his a3 on anybody on anyone but the head with a champion in its throat and now the AI, AI will no longer focus on decapitated heads. If the decapitated head is strong affinity, your champion is weak affinity, it's gonna ignore it. I know, just manual it, duh, but I don't always have the luxury of doing this crap. Here come the Polarium Defenders forgetting the fact that one of the best damage maximization components for Hydra, Hex, results in less control over which heads die and when. We clone Kraken accounts and hit auto. Still got a good score. Ship it. Polarium. Also Polarium. Playtesting? What's that? Is that a new word the hip kids have come up with? The fact that they proudly mentioned they did testing in their video announcement is just mind boggling. My early mid game account is doing about 20%, wow, of the damage they were doing last week. And today I get the Hydra key advanced quest. Fuck, that sucks. Polarium is really bad at what they're supposed to be doing. Well, they're supposed to be making money. That they're doing very well. It just means it's not community friendly because helping casuals doesn't bring any money. Frustration does. Frustration will lead people to spend money. That has been a 100% constant across all runs for me. Three different teams, three different difficulties, all result in this bullshit. Easily lost 40 to 60% of total damage. It's time for a serious boycott, which won't happen, or sit out of fusions for a couple of months, drop their engagement and spending metrics. I'm, I can get behind this, but again, if a few people do it, it's not gonna matter. Just finished my first run since the change. No fun at all, had this happen twice. Me, Polarium. We expect equals we did a thing, however, we didn't fully test it, even though it might only take a day or two, but Saf will test something, er, or something will be broken, and we'll get around to it next year. Yeah, Saf doesn't get enough credit. Shout out to Saf, dude. This guy wasn't using Trunda or Wixwell, his auto team is now down 25% of the damage. Utter fail from Polarium. Now, I don't know about you guys, but at least for me, as long as I can auto and get 1.2 billion for the Hydra Clash points for the chests, and win Hydra Clash every now and then, I'm fine. I don't I don't think I need to be doing like a crap ton more damage. Like, you know what I mean? Like I understand it, but for me personally, and you can tell me if you agree with it or not, or what your position is, I don't need to be doing an extra 10% more damage than what I'm already doing. But I know there's a lot of people out there that are hardcore players who want to keep doing billions and billions of damage. So I get it, but I don't know, just sharing my thoughts. Honestly, I didn't get impacted at all. Tried yesterday the Hydra, Clash, Normal, and Hard. Still can one key without any problem. Yeah, a, a one key is totally fine. But to be fair, I'm a mid-game player. Guys in my rackets usually do harder content, but since I would just want Mithrala, I don't really care enough since it's that hard. I guess I will focus on Faction Wars. There you go, dude. I find the changes fun. My clan now has a chance to win some class, uh, some clashes since we never used any of the cheese teams. I find the changes fun. My clan now has a chance to win some clashes, never use the cheese teams. Great job, Polarium. 